On today's episode of the Duran Messinger Show, we rank the top coaches in Texas high school football. Football fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. It's greatly appreciated. So to begin, we must note before you guys get angry in the comment section. And speaking of the comment section, we're curious to hear your rankings too, so let us know down below. But we must note the main criteria in our list has to be state titles. That's just how it works. But state titles aren't everything, Dylan, right? No, they're not. But if but we're going Michael Jordan it. route, if we're going Michael Jordan route, Devin, they matter. They matter, okay? They matter a lot. This is Texas after all. We count state championship ranks. And then other criteria, obviously career coaching wins is pretty important and other stuff like that. But really those two are the main things. So Dylan you're going to disappoint us with your list first. Who are your honorable mentions? Well, first off, I'd have you know that this is the correct list as compared to yours. I haven't seen yours yet, but I can only imagine the atrocities you've got written down over there. But for my first one, we're talking about wins. This guy has them. Reginald Samples, head coach of Duncanville Panthers. Devin, he's come this close. Hail Mary. Hail Mary close to winning his uh, state championship against North Shore, but not able to do it. Not able to get it done, but he was the National Coach of the Year in 2019. He had Dungaville ranked second nationally. So that is, uh, that is something, you know, of its own. But obviously he's he has not been able to get it fully done. Yeah, He's yeah. our guy, and as you said, he wins a lot. He's gotten a Hail Mary away from the state title that's been pretty elusive for him. But you can't really blame him. He's gotten close. That Dunkinville team, I feel like, should have gotten it. But he's led teams like Skyline pretty far as well. He's just consistent at making deep runs in the playoffs, so I like that honorable mention. Yeah, and consistency, consistency is huge, obviously. And the next one, these two are connected in some way. I got John Kay, North Shore's head coach. Obviously, he's been able to get it done twice against Duncanville, but I don't have him ranked in my top five because he doesn't have the same resume as a lot of the other coaches. A lot of coaches that have been there longer and want a lot more of them. Uh, no problem on the longer, but I don't know, Kay, he's won quite a bit for the average, you know, quote-unquote, he's not averaged, the average high school coach, and as you said, you still got a lot of time to catch up to some of the guys you probably have later on your list, but I'm not going to spoil, I don't even know your list yet, so. Because I keep it locked away. <laughs> got any more honorable mentions, or are those the two? That is it for me. Did you have any honorable mentions okay, that you wanted to share? Of course I do. Okay, let's let's get the list going. And I apologize, like I said, guys, I can't get everybody on the list. Coach Samples, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the hint here. So Jason Herring out of Refurio is one of my honorable mentions. Dylan, he has a coaching reputation that is known across the YouTube sphere as being, I, I don't know, just let's just say tough-minded coach. But football guy. He's football a football guy. guy. But it works. I mean, he's got four state titles. I believe three at Refurio. He wins, and that's all that matters. He's on my list. And then the next honorable mention I got. I got a couple of them. John K, as you said, North Shore. He's got three state titles. He was so close to winning one in 2020, but Westlake was able to come away with the win very late. He's still got time, as we said earlier. He's a young coach. And I think he'll be able to improve his resume, but he's already one of the top coaches in the business. And then, Dylan, the name I know you forgot, but the name we have to mention, Jerry Burkhart out of Richland yep. Springs. Six-man football okay. is getting some love here on this channel. He's got nine state titles. And I know it's hard to compare 11-man to six-man, but this is a top coaches video in Texas high school football, and it would not be... A top coaches video if we did not mention him nine titles for Richland Springs just just greatness overall now to get into the the numbers number five here I got Randy Allen out of Highland Park now Randy Allen if you've seen him on the sidelines you know he is the general of the Scots he's got four state titles over 400 career victories and he's top three all-time in wins for head coaches in Texas. When you see him on the sideline, there's a good chance he's going to be doing the post-game interview because he's going to be probably the winning coach. They had some tough luck in 2020, but overall, they've had a great 2010s decade. What do you think about that? 
Well, I, I like the pick, but my guy definitely has a shorter tenure, but compared to that, but uh, he's, got, he's got his own way of getting things done. I got Dave Hennigan out of Denton Ryan. He's got a 90-10 record over the past seven seasons. He's had multiple semifinal appearances, so when we talk about consistency, Devin, in the playoffs especially, he is there. And, you know, he's got back-to-back -back state uh, championship appearances. They won in 2020. Obviously, they had that really close game against Shadow Creek. We were right there on the sidelines for yeah. that uh, for that so, final attempt. Hail Mary. Drew Sanders. Yeah, so he was about, he could have had a back-to-back -back here. But um, obviously, he's not, he's not ranked as high. Um, he's had a lot of talent, a lot of individual players that have really shown out, like Billy Bowman, that have really helped. But I, I find him to be a top five head coach. And the Raiders in high school. of Denton Ryan. They had a great defense last year. Yeah. Probably one of the tops in high school football history. Just to throw that out there. But go ahead with the next number. Of course. So, number four, Devin. Number four, I have Tim Buchanan, Alito's head coach. And when we're talking about titles, I don't know if I want to list them all out, but I'm going to. So uh, he has save 90... us a time here. Oh, okay, okay. But let's just say he's, he's won. If we look at my handy-dandy notebook here, he's had eight as a head coach and two while he was an athletic director. So let's yeah. just say he knows how to win. He's got 227 wins with 53 losses. And I wrote down here again, consistency is key. And uh, I would say that consistency has been very prevalent in his program. So, and he has just completely dominated the 5A division and the, and the 4A when they, were, when they were there in the past. Yeah, state championships... It's not a foreign language to Coach Buchanan. My number four, got to go Gary Joseph out of Katy. Five state titles. Impressive, right? Over 200 career wins. And in addition to those state titles, when we look at state title appearances as a whole, he's got nine since becoming the coach at Katy head coach in 2004. That's pretty impressive. And we're... You know, we like to preach consistency if you want to be on this list. Obviously, you have to be winning at a high level pretty consistently. Coach Joseph does that. Now, number three, as you mentioned, Coach Buchanan out of Alito. Seven state title <laughs> wins. That's as a head coach, just head coach. That's not the athletic director. And let's see, he grew Alito into a powerhouse program. you got to mention that. I think they had one state title before then, and now they're the record holder for state titles in Texas. And then 250 career-plus wins. You know, Jordan Shrug, like, that's that's pretty no untouchable. Big no I mean, big deal. Yeah. There's other people that have more wins than him, obviously, but state title wins, that's a short list. So who do you have at your number three? Well, for my number three, Devin, I don't know if you're going to like this, but I have Todd Dodge, Westlake's head coach. He came in in 2014. He has an 88-12 and 12 record at Westlake, 218 and 70 overall over his entire head coaching career in high school. Westlake has won the 2019 and 2020 championship, and we all know what he did at Carroll and going to uh, North Texas. So, obviously, he knows how to develop talent. Takes the guys he's got, and he produces winners every season. Okay, I, I like it. The Todd father, respect. But, I mean, number three? Come on, come on. Who's, okay, your, who's your number right. two? Number two? Well, I have Gary Joseph sitting at number two. Obviously, the head coach at Katie. That's another consistent winner. They have absolutely dominated that region. They're always, they're always showing up. They've won in 05, 07, 08. 2012, 2015, 2020, and when they're there, they're they're blowing teams out. So, and uh, did, did you know he's a Hall of Fame inducted head coach? Okay. So congrats. He knows how to, he knows how to do. He knows how to win, and he's been winning. And he's also got 190 wins and 18 losses as a head coach. So, um, yeah, he doesn't lose. Yeah, he, he doesn't lose a lot of games. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if he has more wins than that. You know, the stats online are pretty outdated on wins. But number two, Dylan, for me, uh, let's give some respect to the Todd father, Coach Todd Dodge. He's at Westlake right now. As you mentioned, at Carroll, Southlake Carroll, he won quite a few championships there. And really, when it comes down to Coach Dodge, it's those state titles in a short period of years compared to the other coaches we have on this list. Coach Dodge has six state titles. He's won his second title in a row with Westlake in 2020 
technically in 2021 because of the COVID year. But yeah, let's not get into that anymore, hopefully. But Coach Dodge is just, I don't know, you know, some people claim he invented the spread offense. I disagree with that because I think it's been there longer, but he definitely revolutionized it. Back in the Carroll days, the wristbands for quarterbacks and position players and the hand signals, it was advanced, and it took a while for offenses to catch up. But now, you know, everyone's turning into his type of scheme. And then just to, you know, keep on talking about him as a great coach, he hires great staff members. You know, the Westlake defense was also one of the best ever this past year, and he's really, you know... He isn't the defensive coordinator or anything, but he's putting the pieces in place in order to succeed, so that's what you like to see. His teams are, are always seemingly balanced, too. Exactly. They always seem to be a complete team. Now, I'm going to go to my number one before you hit your number one. I think we know who's coming up here. If you guys haven't guessed it, it's coming. Dylan's going to roast me for two minutes after I mention this name, but Scott Surratt, out of Carthage. Now I know, guys, before I get into it, in the last year's prediction videos, I was not kind to Carthage. I was wrong, okay? How did I pick against a coach that has now won eight state titles? You know, Dylan, this has been a stat that's been mentioned quite a bit. He has more state title wins than he does playoff losses at Carthage. Boom, drop the mic. Okay, I'm, I'm done. You can roast me now or whatever you want to do. Well, I mean, I just I don't want to say I'm a truther here, Devin, but when we were making our picks, I was sure not to pick against Carthage in any of the matchups, but, I mean, lo and behold, um, you seem to really enjoy picking Pleasant Grove, so I know you, know you had a great time down. with that. They made me look really good at the end of the season. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, to me, he was the obvious choice at, at, at number one. When you think of Carthage, you think of their explosive offense. They were destroying teams in the playoffs. Devin, they outscored opponents 244 to 42 last year in the playoffs. So, safe to say it wasn't close in pretty much any of their matchups. They beat all their teams handedly and deserve that title along with all the other ones they've won. Yeah, I've learned my lesson with Carthage, and he's still, you know, Coach Surratt. He's he's a young guy too for a coach. I mean, yeah. is he going to get to 16? I don't know. We'll see. But yet again, I've learned my lesson. I'm not picking against them, so maybe he does. Let us know down below who are your top five head coaches. If you want to leave an honorable mention, go ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.